welcome back. Today we are doing the final Cinderella for the Different Faces Disney Edition Challenge. And this Cinderella is actually kind of complicated. So Dark Parables has kind of an installment of their game and it's called the final Cinderella. So it actually features five notable Cinderella's, although there have been many throughout like time in the world. Basically, the Cinderella is a type of person and it is a maiden who retains their pure heart despite the hardships they endure. They are very rare and as such, godmothers are traditionally meant to seek them out and assist them however they can. So it's like a thing. So I tried to make the Dark Parable Cinderella combination of these four, just because technically there's even more, we just don't see them. And I didn't want to do them individually, so yeah. So there's Ella Blom, who is the first Cinderella and kind of the classic Cinderella. I took from her kind of her general face shape, there's a doll in the game, she has kind of sandy blonde hair and brown eyes, so that's what I grabbed from her. The dress, I just kind of picked out a dress that looked like it fit into the game. Uh, the next was Agnes Cock, as she is the second Cinderella, and that takes from a couple different stories. I know that there is, I can't remember the fairy tale off the top of my head, but we're like, I'm pretty sure it's a Snow White one, but anyways, where it's basically the king promises his wife he'll only marry someone as beautiful as her, and he comes to the conclusion the only person he can marry is his daughter. So she runs away, she meets the frog prince, happily ever after. The third one is Shan Mao. She's a kind girl, cares for her stepsister Chi, despite their, her constant tricks. Turns her, the sister turns her to a fox. The prince helps, lives happily ever after. Um, oh, I forgot to say what I'm taking. I'm kind of, you, you can see the different, like as the face changes, that's me kind of taking different things. Agnes had kind of like a wide heart shaped face, really defined narrow chin. So it kind of went that way. It ends up changing a bit, but I tried. And her brows were a lot more defined, straight, and a little scary. Uh, Shan, I obviously I changed the skin tone to a more Asian-inspired one with a monolid, just because I felt like that was going to be the most impactful way to pull from that particular character's appearance that would be retained as I made all these other changes. Uh, next was Bianca Pace. She is the fourth Cinderella. She's kind of beautiful, put into a tower, so very Rapunzel-like, except she's put in the tower because her stepmother fears she would steal away suitors from her stepsisters. Uh, the prince goes to rescue her, is turned into an ogre, and then she cures him. And again, happily ever after. The final Cinderella, which is what the kind of series is named after, is Catherine Baloney. She actually ends up, uh, I hope this is not a spoiler, but this game came out in 2013. So like, definitely play it if you haven't seen it and just like, don't listen to me talk. <laughs> but this, this Cinderella actually matters for the story. So she ends up being hunted down by the fairy godmother, whose name is Amelia, so that she could actually sacrifice her pure soul to revive her dead husband, Geppetto. You as the player, the fairy tale detective, kind of has to foil those plans and rescue Catherine. And I guess Catherine goes on to take care of Amelia and Geppetto's son, Pinocchio. So there you go. Uh, and the game does make a note that while she's called the final Cinderella, she's only the last recorded Cinderella because there will always be more. However, they're not going to be found at this point and helped by godmothers as the practice is abolished because Amelia went rogue. So yeah, I, ju I just think it's interesting and I thought it was an interesting concept for a game to really play with this idea of fairy tales evolving and changing and being reborn and happening again, but not the same story. Because a lot of these do have, like Donkey Skin is very, very similar to Cinderella. There's other ones too, I can't think of off the top of my head, but like there's a lot of Cinderella-esque stories that kind of get mashed under the header of Cinderella, but they're all technically different. And so it's a really unique way to really play with that. And I enjoy that. It's also just a really pretty game or what I remember of it. I haven't played it since it was released. So like, don't judge me if they aren't pretty, but like, I like it. I like the art style. I'm looking at the different character images. 
can't remember what I take from Catherine. Because she's like the final one. What did I take from Catherine? What did I take? Oh, Catherine was the hair. So I do change her hairstyle and I do like, she has like this funky headdressy looking thing. So I give her that. And then Bianca, Bianca had like a very receded chin. So I took that. I was just trying to find things that were very distinct to that particular one out of the five. And I think she looks really good. I'm really, really hoping something of this particular Cinderella lasts. And that's the chin because <laughs> I do have a fondness for a receded chin. I don't know why. I just, I like the look. Maybe the Simpsons ruined me, who knows. But yeah, here I am changing the hair because I was like, well, Catherine as a character is very distinct looking, but like, if I changed any of those particular features, it would have erased the other ones at this point. So I was like, well, her hairstyle is kind of iconic with like, it's a middle part, long straight, and then has that weird bit of hair jewelry. So that's what I ultimately went with. And I'm so excited, like you have no idea. I'm so excited for the Cinderella Smashdown. It's gonna be broken up into two because there are 42 of them. And I think I said 10 and 12 in my life. I, that's not what I meant. I meant, 20 and 22 are gonna be the two groups. I might break it up even further, because obviously there's limitations within The Sims 2. But the videos will be the first 20 and then the 22, and we'll skip quite a bit like we did with Snow White, where we're not gonna sit and watch every single kid be born, but I will show you like the generations as they progress, and I'm really excited to see what our final Cinderella looks like. Any guesses about hair color, eye color, certain features? I do think dark hair is gonna win the day because there's not a lot of blondes, but other than that, I have no idea. So I'm gonna go with like brown or black hair is my guess at this moment. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. It really does help and I'll see you in the smashdown.